mabuhay. In 2019, we saw the re-entry of yet another China brand. This is Geely, and they made quite an impression with their Cool Ray. But today, we're going to be taking a look at their newest offering, the 2020 Geely Ascara. Geely owns Volvo, and you can see that this car has taken a lot of the design cues from that brand. In fact, the Geely designer himself used to be a former Volvo designer. But of course, this being a different brand, they had to make their own distinguishing features, such as this grille. Gives you the impression that it's getting smaller, highlighting that Geely emblem. You've even got these sculpted hood bulges here that make it look more aggressive and muscular. From the front, you can see that it's really understated, but also distinguishing. Now let's take a look and see at the side and see if there's anything else there that sets it apart. Over at the side, it's pretty much par for the course. You've got these turn light indicators apart from one distinguishing feature. Although most cars nowadays have that floating roof design, here in the Ascara, you've got a tiny porthole where you can kind of peer through into the rear luggage uh, compartment. That's pretty much it for the side. Let's go and see at what's out back. Over at the back, there's nothing really that sets it apart from the rest, except for this nice spoiler with the third brake light and this shark's fin antenna. Oh, and it's got this automatic tailgate too, which of course aids in convenience. That's the exterior done. Let's take a look at the interior and see what's what. The inside is where you can really see that Geely wanted to set the Ascara apart. It's a blend of contemporary and old school luxury. You've got these nice brushed aluminum and piano black panels that surround this really big infotainment system screen. You've got these nice brown leather seats that are really, really superb bolstering to them. It's a really comfortable place to sit in. Apart from also that it's got probably one of the biggest panoramic sunroofs in its class. From the front, it extends all the way to the rear of the second row. Add all those elements together and you've got this really nice, well-balanced interior that you don't mind sitting in for long periods of time. It's got enough places for you to store whatever you feel like you want to store. In fact, it's even got wireless charging. Also, the, what I think is a good detail is that Geely have added their Geely G onto numerous panels here inside the interior. It's not really a big deal, but it's... Nice to know that they really thought about the interior. Add all of those elements and features together and you get a really nice interior. The Ascara is a really, really nice car to sit in and be in. You don't mind being the driver or the passenger. Overall, the Ascara has got a lot going for it, but we haven't even got into the best part yet. This car is a mild hybrid. So not only do you get a handsome exterior and interior and a boatload of features, but you're also helping out in sustainable mobility. And who doesn't want that, right? If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. And if you want to know more about the automotive world globally and locally, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This has been Pablo Salapatan of Auto Industria. Palam!